hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create an excel report in odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 14 development tutorials so in this video we will be discussing about how to generate an excel report from odoo version 14 so first of all if i go to the settings so if i go to the settings and if i activate the debug mode so from here i will activate the developer mode and if i go back to the settings and then to the technical and if you scroll down you have a menu called reports and if i open the reports and if i open any of the reports here you have a field called report type and if you check the values you can see you have the options of html pdf and text so you don't have the option of excel reporting here so first of all what you have to do is that in order to generate excel report we mostly use this community module from OCA so you can see the module name is base report XLS so and you can see it's available from version 8 to Odoo version 14 so first of all what you have to do is that you have to download this module from the Odoo app store and you have to install it in your database or you have to add this module to the depends of the module so once you download and install this module you will have a new report type called xls in your database so in order to generate excel report mostly people will use this module as a base module suppose if i didn't use this module the issue is that we have to write all the codes so you can see the lines of code inside this module is 207 we might have to write all these lines inside our module so it's a recommended to use this module for generating the report in Odoo. So I have already downloaded this module and I have added it to my add-ons path. So if I go to the pie charm, here you can see, let me close all the screens, you can see I have downloaded and added the report XLX module in my add-ons path. So Dave is my add-ons path and I have added the report xls in my add-ons path and if i go to the apps menu so if i go to the apps menu and if i search for a report xls report xls 6 you can see the module is there so in order to install this module you have to install these python packages that is you have to install xls writer and excel rd so once you download and add your module to add-ons path make sure that you have installed both the python packages in order to install and use this module so right now what i'll be doing is that i will install this module in my database that is base report xlsx so the module has been successfully installed and if i go to the settings then to the technical and if i go to reports again reports and i'll open any of the report edit and if you check the report type you have a new option here that is xlsx so using this report type you can easily generate excel report from odoo so as an initial step what you have to do is that you have to download and add this module make sure these python packages are installed and once the module is installed you will have this report type in your database so we have successfully completed the first step now we have to generate an excel report so what i'll be doing is that if i go to the hospital then to the patient if i take jennifer you can see recently we have added two reports that is two pdf reports one is patient details and one is patient card so if it on patient card you will be getting an id card of the patient so what we will be doing is that we will be generating an id card in excel format so right now this is in this is in pdf format so we will be creating a similar report which is in excel format so let me close this and if you go to this app you can see you have a section explaining how to use this so first of all uh, uh, I'm concerned um, generating an excel report is much easier than creating a pdf report what you have to do is that simply you have to define a report tag so that a report will get added into the database then simply you have to add a python function so i'm adding this python function 
and this report tag you will be able to generate a sample excel file from the database so first of all what i have to do this syntax is deprecated from Odoo version 14 you cannot use like this report so if i go to pycharm and this is our module om hospital so i'll be adding excel report inside this module so first of all what i'll be doing i'll be adding the report xls as the dependent module of my so for om hospital i will add report xlsx as a dependent module so in manifest file i have specified for working of Odoo 14 development tutorials report xls is needed so i have set that inside the manifest file so then you have to do you have to add report tag so this is the report tag that we have added for generating the pdf report so i'll copy this and i will put here so i'll rename the change the name as report patient card xls so this is the report tag for excel report i'll keep the name as patient card model hospital dot patient and a report type instead of qf pdf you have to set the report type as xlss so you can get that name from here or you can go to code that is you can go to report xls models ir dot report you have the option xlsx you have to add this as the report type so i'll set the report type as xl sx then you have to specify the report name and report file so patient patient id card xls i'll give the name like this report file binding model is same binding type is same so what i have done is i have added a report tag here that is i have given the unique id report patient card xls and also name patient card i'll give the name as patient card excel so we can identify excel model hospital dot patient report type is xlsx report name report file both are given same binding model is set and binding type equal to report so let me restart the service so already i have imported this report.xml file inside the manifest file so if you are creating a new file you have to import this inside the manifest file so if i go to the om hospital report report.xml so here we have added this report tag and you can see this has been imported in the manifest file so let's see what happens if i upgrade the module right now so i'll go to the browser and let me go to the apps menu and let me upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials so let's see what happens on upgrading the module so the module has been successfully upgraded now if i go to the settings and then to the technical and if i go to the reports and if i search for excel you can see patient card excel has been added into ir.actions report that is coming from here ir.actions report so we have successfully added the report tag given the name as patient card excel patient card excel and its type is xlsx and we haven't defined its python function so right now if i go to the hospital and if i take the jennifer you can see in the print option you have a new option called patient card excel and if i click on this right now you will be getting error so if i click on that you can see you are getting error because we haven't defined this report patient id card xls so let's see we can let's see how we can define that so i'll go back to the browser and then to the base report xls so once you define the report tag you have to add a python class in your module you can see similarly you have to add a python class so what i'll do, be doing i'll go to the pycharm and inside the report i'll add a new python file so for generating xls report we need python file rather than an xml file we need a python file so what i'll be doing i'll be copying a python file from here i'll copy this sale.py file and i'll put it here paste i'll give the name as patient card xls patient card xls so i have added a python file and let me remove all this and you have to import so uh, in order to import the python file we, we need an init file here so i'll copy this init file 
init.py and I'll put it here paste so you know to import python file we need an init file so I'll copy that one and from the init file I'll import patient card xls so I have added an init file and imported the patient card xls and also from the main init you have to import this folder so if I go to the init.py here you know we have imported wizard then later we have imported models now similarly we have to import the report so I'll click on ctrl D and I'll import the report folder so I have imported the report folder in the main init file and from the init file inside the report folder I have imported the patient card xls so we have to define the function here inside patient card xls dot py so if I go to the browser so you can see we have to define this function so I'll copy this python file from here and I'll put it here I'll remove this and let me arrange the syntax let me arrange the indentations so simply what I have done I have defined a python file and copy paste the content that I get from the rst file of this module so I copy these codes and I have put it here so instead of partner xls I'll give that class name as patient card xls so i can give a name that stands with the subject i have given the class name as patient card xls 6 models dot abstract model you have to use models dot abstract model for the reporting purpose then you have to give the name so in the name what you have to give the name that we have set here that is patient card patient id card xls so module name yes so i'll copy this one and I will put it here report module name dot report name so report and this is my module name and this is my report name so you can see just copy paste the report name that you have given here and put it in the name tag and you have to inherit this abstract class so you have to inherit this class and then this function generate xls report will be getting executed on clicking the on clicking the print button so instead of partners uh, I'll give the name as patients just I'll show you what happens patients so let's see what happens if I click on the print button again so let me restart the service so I have restarted the service and let me go to the UI and let me click on print patient card excel so earlier when we have clicked on patient card excel we were getting an error so right now let's see what happens after adding the python file so right now i'll click on patient card excel you can see a file has been downloaded here and if i open start discard and let me open the file you can see an excel file has been generated from the system having the name of the patient you can see in the report you can see in the first column you get a Jennifer which is our patient name you can see Jennifer and if I go to the next tab here you can see the name is Anne Matthew and if I click on print patient card Excel and if I open the file you can see Anne Matthew has been coming so we have successfully generated a basic Excel file from Kodo. So what we have done so far is we have downloaded and add the report XLS module from the Odo app store and installed in the database. Then we have added that module as a dependent module for our module in the manifest file. Then we have defined a report tag of type XLS. Then we have defined a class to generate the excel report so on giving the name give name like a report module name report name and don't forget to inherit this class and on clicking the print button this file will be getting executed so let's see how we can make an id card so right now we have only get a basic we generated an XML excel file and only we have printed the name so the name has been coming from here you can see we are printing object dot name that is object is in the patients we will be getting the selected so if I print the patient if I print the patients in this patients variable we will be getting the selected record and 
let's let's print and see so i have print patients and let me restart the service and if i go to the ui and if i click on patient card excel and if i come back to the pie chart and if you check the log you can see in the patients you are getting hospital dot patient of six so i will iterate this patient because if you are printing from the tree view the patients will be containing multiple records so you have to iterate it over the self so right now it's only a single record but if you print it from the tree view like this so right now we have three records and print patient card excel you will have three records you can see hospital patient of nine eight seven so i'll be iterating it over the self so let me open the last file you can see there will be three sheets so in the first sheet michelle you can see first sheet second sheet matthew third sheet jennifer so three sheet has been added so i'll come to that uh, in this video itself how to generate multiple sheets so in the patients we will be receiving multiple values so you have to iterate it over a self over a for loop then a report name so just i am assigning a variable report name equal to object dot name object is hospital dot patient dot name will give the patient name and i am setting it as the sheet you can see workbook workbook dot add worksheet so this syntax workbook dot add worksheet will add worksheet will add a new sheet in the excel report so this is one sheet the second sheet third sheet and if i need more sheet you just have to call add worksheet function and you have to pass its name then it will set as the sheet name so you can see here sheet name is set as michelle matthew and jennifer because we have set the pass the name as patient name here in the add worksheet function so a sheet is added that is in each for loop we are adding a new sheet and this syntax bold workbook dot add format add format is used to add styles like bold italic border etc we can use this add format so these are the syntax of xls writer you can search about python xls writer there are a lot of options like adding charts adding images border like there are different options so i'll discuss all those options inside this video or i'll be creating a separate video introducing the available options in the xls writer package so we have added a sheet first then i have set a format called bold bold is true then i am writing into the sheet sheet dot write so sheet dot write will write the data into the sheet so here i have specified zero zero that is the position in the excel file zero row zero column that is why we have getting here zero the first one suppose if i need here you can put one one so instead of zero zero i'll put one one that is i have changed the row and column that is one one and if i print the report again so i'll go to the michelle and if i print the report again and if i open you can see it's coming here instead of zero zero it's coming here and if you need to get here you have to change the column number that is instead of one you have to put two then it will change to the next so let me print again patient card excel you are getting here and if you need to go to the down that is if you need to go two down you have to change the row number the first one instead of one you can put three so it will go two rows down and if i print again patient card excel patient card excel again you can see the position has been getting changed so instead of right now also we have noted that uh, when we print from the tree view it comes as a separate sheet so there might be some case where you have to get all these reports in a single sheet itself rather than printing multiple sheets you have to get all these patient details in a single sheet itself so in such cases what you have to do instead of adding the sheet from for loop instead of adding sheet from for loop you can add from outside the for loop so here i have i'll give the name as instead of passing a dynamic name i'll give the name as patient id cards patient id cards i'll give a static name thus name as 
patient ID cards. So in, inside the for loop, I'm not, in, uh, not adding any sheets. So it will be only a single sheet. So you can see uh, here uh, outside the for loop, I have defined a sheet and its name is given as patient ID card. Then from here, I'll iterate the patients over a for loop and also this address format you don't need to define it inside the for loop you can put it outside of the for loop and i'm writing into the third row second column i'm writing the value as object dot name object is hospital dot patient calling dot name will get the patient name and format is bold so let's print the report right now so what i'll do is that i'll select all the records and if i click on print there will be one problem patient card excel I'll show you the problem all the name will be coming in the same column itself that is because you are writing all the names into the three comma two column that will be in each for loop you are writing data into the same column itself so you will not see all the records you can see right now the name of the sheet is patient ID card and on each loop you are writing to same column so you will not see all the names so what you have to do instead of giving hard coded name like 32 you have to set i'll show you you can set a row equal to 3 call equal to call equal to 3 and what you have to do in each iteration you have to increase the row number row equal to row plus equal to 1 and instead of giving here 3 give row and here you can see give call that is I have set a row equal to 3 call equal to 3 and on each for loop I will increment the value of row so right now you can see we didn't get all the patient details even though we have printed from the tree view so let me close all the eight windows I have selected all the records and if I print a patient card Excel we are getting only Sam because Sam might be the last record. So if I choose, if I ignore Sam, the next value will be getting in the sheet will be Tom DeCruz. So if I print patient card Excel, we will get Tom DeCruz because the last value will be written in that column. So in order to overcome that, what I have done is I have defined a variable called row, set the value as three, column equal to three. And in each iteration, I will be incrementing the row number. So let's restart the service and let's print the report again. So right now we will be getting all the patient name in different columns. So you can see Michelle, Matthew, Jennifer, and Matthew, Sarah, Anthony, James, Tom, Recruits, and Sam. So this is how you can generate Excel report in Odoo. So simply right now we have added only the name. So let's design uh, more things. So if I go to Jennifer and if I print patient card Excel. So here we are getting Jennifer. So let's add a label name Jennifer age Jennifer's age and let's add an image of Jennifer. So what I'll do is that. Um, sheet dot write so control d row call so let me add some codes call plus one here i'll be giving the string as name name so what i have done is sheet dot write in the same row column i have added a string as name then i have given call plus one so it will go to the next column then it will print object dot name so let's see what happens right now so if i print the patient card excel right now you can see name jennifer so let's avoid the bold of jennifer so we don't need it to come as a bold so let me restart and let me print again so you can see name is coming as jennifer so let similarly let's add age and age of jennifer what we what details we have and it's her uh, id number so what i'll do is that mm, so first row finished then i have to increment uh, the row number row plus one because i have to add it in the next row so I, i'll give a row equal to row plus one and here i'll give instead of name i'll give the age and object dot the age field so i think the name of age field is age itself so here i'll give object dot age so in this row i have added age and in the next row i'll add his id number 
or op plus one she dot right age instead of age uh, id and what i can give reference i'll give the label as a reference and i'll print this reference so the field name of the reference is a reference itself so i'll give object dot reference so let's print the report and see what happens so you can see after each i have incremented the row and printed age and reference so let me go to the ui and let me print the patient card excel again so you can see the report has been downloaded and if i open the downloaded report you can see name age a reference so you can see the reference is not coming fully you need to expand so let's see how we can set the size for this column that is you have to increment so by default when we print the report you get like this the reference was not visible fully so in order to view fully you just have to increment the size of column d so let's see how we can set that so in order to check that let me go to this editor here i have some sample codes so here i'll copy this line what i will do in here i'll add one more thing she dot set column so here you can see right now we are printing uh, the page name or the labels in column d so let me close all these things i'll show you what i'm going to do if i close all these things and if i print patient card excel you can see this column is small you cannot see c and e so i have to increment the column width like this so i'll set here she dot set column d to e that is d to e i need to increment its size to i'll put 30 so I, i'm set telling that sheet this is my sheet she dot set column set column with 30 so let's restart the service and print the report again and see the difference so if i print the report again you can see the column width has been increased so right now you can see both columns has been increased so i need to increase only column d so i'll set d d and i don't need this much width because this is too much so i need only half of that so instead of setting 30 i'll set 15 and let's restart and let me print again patient card excel and if i open you can see it has been coming still it's little more big you can reduce it to 12 which was initially there when we have copied so let me print the report again patient card excel and if i open you can see the value has been coming correctly that is name age reference so we have successfully added these details so let's add one more thing here let's add a label here called patient id card or id card here inside this column so i'll add in this column that is id card so let me go here and what i'll do so here i'll copy a thing and instead of name i'll put id card id card in this column i'll put id card and if i print the report patient card excel you can see it's coming in the first column it's coming as id card so let's try how we can merge these columns so show that it will show in the center so what we will be discussing next is how to merge these two columns that is how to merge these two columns and if i go to my text editor here i have already written some samples so i think i have already done something like that mm, merge column uh, let me check for that sample yeah here you have that sample so let me copy this Control c and i'll put it here that is this is a sample that i have tried mm, remove this id card a row call so what i have done is i have used merge range this merge range will merge the columns so we have to merge these two columns that is d and e so i have set row we have to specify which columns has to be merged so i have given a row column and row call plus one because we have to merge those so let me 
explain that one let first let's print and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and i'll print patient card excel so the excel is generated so you can see this column get merged you can see it get merged it get merged because we use merge range so a row column so on claiming giving row call row is 3 plus 1 4 and column is 3 that is 4 3 that is 4 3 this column and 4 4 you can see row call plus 1 though so it will be 4 4 so we are saying we have to merge 4 3 and 4 4 so it will get merged um, so I'll explain merge range don't worry so on merge range you can merge now you have to move it to little more align center so it right now it's coming in the left side you can using formatting you can move it to the center so if I go to sublime I have a sample here align right so I'll copy this format control C and I'll put it here that is I have defined a format workbook dot add format you can see inside this bold true align center I have to align center and I have set BG color as yellow that is this is the bold format workbook dot add format that similarly I am adding another format workbook dot bold add format bold true align center you have to align it center BG color equal to yellow so I'll copy this format one and I'll give here that is ID card format one so let's restart and let's print the report and see so if I click on print patient card and if I open you can see ID card is coming in yellow color because we have set the BG color as yellow align center is given align center is given so it is coming in the center so this is how you can format the Excel report in Oru so right now it works uh, for a single record so let's see what happens if I print the report from the tree view so let me choose two patients Michelle and Matthew and if I click on print you will not be getting yeah you are getting you can see dynamically the column is getting increased because we are setting in each row the column will be increasing so let's put some gaps gap after each ID card let's add two gap so for that what you can do at the end of this loop you can put put 2 row plus 2 that is when you come to the next iteration there will be 2 row gap so let's restart the service and let me print those reports again I will select 2 patients and if I print patient card excel and if I open you can see a 2 gap is getting added so first id card name Michelle age is 25 Our reference is HP 00 something and you can see ID card of Matthew so now let's see how we can add an image into the Excel report so definitely if it is an ID card you should have the image of the patient so let's see we, how we can add the image of the patient to the Excel report so if I go to the sublime editor here I have you can see the sample code that I have added so what I'll do is that I'll copy I'll copy this code that I have added Control C and I'll put it here. Some sample code that I have added, I'll put it here. So let me arrange the codes. I have to import this package. So I'll explain. So what we are going to do is that we are going to add image to the Excel report. So to, in order to add image to Excel report, you, you must have to import this package. B, import B64 and you have to import io package so i have just imported these two package and i'll add some codes here that is if object dot image so if i go to browser and if i open jennifer we have image here so the field name of the image is image itself so what i'll do i'm checking if object dot image if object dot image i'll give the name as patient image patient image equal to io dot bytes io base 64 dot b64 decode object dot image using this format you can convert it to the bytes array so patient image equal to io dot bytes io and you have to specify the field name here that is object dot image then using sheet dot insert image using insert image you can add image to the sheet 
can use insert image row so i have to add to this row column 3 and you have to set a name image.png and in the dictionary image data equal to you have to pass this patient image and you can set the scaling in order to uh, what i can say in order to scale the image you can set the x scale and y scale so this is not mandatory so if i didn't set this i can show you the difference so i'll remove that one and if i print the report let's see what happens so i'll restart the service and if i go to the browser and if i print the report patient card excel and if i open you can see it's coming like this the image is not get scaled so in order to i need to reduce i need to fit this inside these columns so for that i'll scale the image that is scale, x scale 0.5 and y scale 0 0.05 so let me restart the service again and i'll go to the browser and i'll print patient card excel so if i open the report you can see the id card image is getting scaled and coming here and you can just make it more big like this let me yeah like this so you'll have the image at the center name age and reference so this is how you can add the image to an excel report in Udo version 14 simply you have to use insert image insert image then you have to specify the row and column given name then image data you have to pass the bytes data then you use scaling in order to fit the column size and i have increased row plus equal to 5 i have given this row equal to plus 5 because you can see i have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 total 6 5 plus 6 row for images and if object dot image you can see if object dot image only if there is image inside if there is image inside the patient only the image will get printed so let's go to the record that doesn't have image so here the patient doesn't have the image and from here if i print you can see the image is not coming but we have an extra row here so actually we don't need that row so what i'll do is that i'll move this line i'll delete this line and i'll put six here so we don't need an extra line after the id card label so here we have we're having an extra line i have removed that and if i print again patient card excel you can see image id card and matthew so you can see and matthew is going out so we have to increase little more that is e column has to be increased little more so you can increase the column size like this set column e e E, e i need to increase the size of ee e. i'll put 13 and let me arrange 13 and so what i have done is i have increased the column size of column e that is e means e containing the patient name it's going outside so i have simply increased the column size and if i print the patient card excel and if i open it you can see right now and matthew is coming inside so we have successfully designed the report so let me go to the tree view and let me print so i'll close all the report or let me print again patient card excel and if i open you can see id card michelle id card matthew no image id card jennifer having image id card and matthew id card sarah isaac id card anthony adam id card james id card tom de cross id card sam you can getting all the reports and if you need it as a separate report like if you need it as a if you need it in separate sheets right now we have made it in a single sheet suppose if you need it to get in a separate sheet what you have to do you simply have to add it inside inside the for loop you can add it inside the for loop control x you can simply add it to the inside the for loop and also this has to be inside the for loop so we have moved everything inside the for loop so we will be getting in a separate sheets so right now when we printed everything was coming in a single sheet and we have moved it to move the code inside the for loop so that we will be getting every thing inside the separate sheets so let me print once again so i'll choose all the records print patient card excel we are getting an error so let me check there is something wrong 
in what we have added sheet set column D we don't need to move sheet uh, I think there is some mistake on what it was and worksheet not sure what happens let me undo this let me revert my last change sheet dot worksheet what happens if I move control X to this here I'll move and let me move this control X to here let me print again so let me restart the service and let me go to the UI and let me print the patient card Excel again still you are getting an error and you don't have any hints duplicate sheet name you can see uh, you cannot give sheet name multiple sheet name having same name so we have statically given the patient card ID as the sheet name so it says that you cannot give same sheet name for multiple sheets so you have to set the name dynamically so I'll give the name as object dot name that is object will contain the patient name object dot name the error was coming because of the duplicated sheet names so instead of giving the patient ID card as sheet name I have changed it to patient name so let's go to the UI and print the ID cards again so I have printed it again and if I open the reports right now you can see it's still loading if I open it now you can see in the first sheet we have Michelle second sheet we have Matthew Jennifer and Matthew Sarah Isaac Anthony Adam James Tom DeCruz and Sam so this is how we can generate Excel report in Odoo so we have discussed how to add image how to merge columns how to increase the column size how to set the formatting like how to set add format option using add format option you can format like this BG color yellow etc and also we have discussed how to set column size how to merge range so I think you might have confused with merge range so let me give an example so if I go to the here so let's merge some columns here so let's take a case you have to merge this much things you have to get all this as a single column so what I will do is that I'll copy this merge range and here I'll put like mm, merge row equal to two column I'll show you something I'll show you something so I have simply added a merge range here and I did got so let me print the report again I'll just need to show you the sample of merge range patient card Excel you can see it get merged you can see one two three three rows and two column get merged three one column and one column that is row row plus two that is three column and call plus one that is three so you can see here what you get one two three suppose if you need to merge only two rows you have to give row plus one and if you need to merge three columns column plus two restart and if you print again patient card excel two rows and three columns so I'll give here one itself and I'll keep here let me check I don't need a space here let's that space be there ID card what I can say mm. so what we are setting is here you can see this row this row will have a number like 15 then I'm saying instead of row here I'm saying I need to merge 15 row call number 2 and to 15 to 17th row I have to merge and column 3 so this is the syntax if I remove the variables the syntax will be like this I'm saying I need to merge from 15 of 2 this column 15 of 2 15 of 2 0 1 2 from here to 15 of 2 to 16 of 3 like this we are specifying the column size so let me restart and let me print again patient card excel you can see it get merged here that is 15 0 1 2 that is extra 1 that is 15 means 16 
and of 0 1 2 so 15 of 2 will be this column 15 of 2 15 of 2 will be this column and I'm saying I have to merge till 17 of 3 17 of 3 so system will get merged like this so I hope you understood how the merge range works so I'll keep this row and here instead of ID card I'll give company name or I'll give uh, what I can say let's add some syntax uh, here or I'll keep it empty so let's restart and let's print the report and see so if I print the patient card Excel now you will be getting like this ID card patient ID card Michelle this looks nice right seems good for me name Michelle age 25 a reference is coming etc so there are still more options in XLS writer package so I'll be creating a separate video showing you how to add um, charts uh, how can I strike there are a lot of options in XLS writer so if you search XLS writer you can see the available options inside the XLS writer package so I'll be creating a separate video on the same also right now we have generated excel report directly from here also we have a video about how to generate excel report from wizard in Odoo. so i think i hope you understood what we have defined so far that is by default like this you can add formats into the data sheet you have you can add new sheet by calling the option add worksheet set column can be used in order to set the column size merge range will merge range of columns and insert image can be used to insert image into the sheet and you can use dot write to write the values so that's it for the video and if you have also one more thing I just forget uh, you can see I, I missed to define the set border border options I think we can discuss in the next video like setting the border etc in the next video so that's it for this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to contact us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com or you can connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you